Hi gang, Diana here today. Welcome to the studio. A uh, warm welcome to everyone and especially my new subscribers. It's always nice to have new faces and I hope you'll leave comments and give me thumbs up. That really does help my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. It helps me to bring you more videos. I am changing things up a little bit. Uh, I, I am going to try something new and that will be I'm going to be posting videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and those uh, blog posts will also be over at at my blog. I will be posting occasionally on a Sunday if I feel like writing a little bit or sharing something that wouldn't be a video. So today's video is a haul video and also a demo. I like to demo my holes a little bit. Uh, be so just so that you're not just seeing this and that. I I hope that the demo part will help you decide whether you actually need these materials. Sometimes there's a, an incredible amount of product on the market, and I do try to try my best to get some of the newer things and share them with you guys. So I've been waiting. To open this package from Stacy Rollins, but I really wanted to see, let you see it unopened. First of all, uh, there's a little fish charm on the back. It came all the way through the mail with this wonderful charm, and I love this found poetry. She is a master. She is so good at this stuff. She always sends to the amazing Diana Trout, which cracks me up, and it, it, it's just a just a wild ride. So I'm going to carefully open this. <laughs> I sped this up because I did want you to get a feel for the kinds of things you can include in your mail art. Um, Tracy sent stickers and pieces of jelly printed paper and a die cut shape and just all sorts of things that are you know might not be exciting to you anymore or maybe it is but uh, it's also something new for me I think that dollar bill is pretty cool <laughs> she had probably had a whole bunch of pieces from that so super fun stuff from Stacy, some stamps in the background and little bits and bobs. Great stuff. So I have a few things from a few different places here and this first is from Joggles and it's these foam stamps and I, I really like those. It, you'll remember and I will link up in the corner and um, the uh, oh geez what was it called? Ah! Ha, huh, not art foamies from Natalie Callback. Oh, love them. And I'm, these are really cool. Uh, I only got, I got a few. The price is good. They're from Joggles. Wonky striped border. This is little hearts, mini heart set one. And I don't know if you know this, but I have a real, this is one of my favorite things. I don't, it's funny, you know, you figure something that you really love and that's going to fit really nicely there. So, I'm going to just do a little bit of, I got a few oxide inks. I finally just decided to do it. I, I had ordered the Simon Set Stamp, I think it's the June card kit, and it came with a pink one. And I thought, oh, what the heck. So I, I really wasn't going to get these, um, and they are pigment inks. That basically they're just pigment inks, and they're in the distress color. And and we know we all love the distress colors, Tim. But I really kind of didn't want a whole new line of inks, but I I caved. So I still I swear I still have paint and gel medium on my hands from that tunnel book. Anyways, let's see how it stamps over paint. 
looks cool. Oh, that looks really nice, I have to say. This background I did with the roller this week um, joggles their um, prompt is to use um, a, an ink roller, you know, that, like you would use in printmaking. Brayer, that's what it's called. I'm sorry, gang. Brayer. So let me put that there. I thought I would just, I've been behind in my art journaling, and I really, really enjoy, have been enjoying reading <laughs> Joggle's prompts and looking through their stuff, but I haven't been doing very good. So, and anyways, so these are pretty cool, and you could use a, um, that foam, hold on, you know, this stuff. Um, from Ranger and do the same thing uh, stamp on your pad uh, it, you'll see the directions I put them in with the art foamies you stamp on your pad and then you ink it up with paint or re -inker. so that that's pretty fun I grabbed a couple of these liquid pearls when I was at the stamp show a couple months ago and they're all different colors and they're pearlescent so I did drop a few on this page and you can see that looks pretty cool I know people use them for card making and probably all of you know all about liquid pearls but you have to remember I just got into this card making world very recently so I again what can I do with these well one thing definitely I can do with them is I'm gonna get started here they're really pretty they're really pretty and one thing I thought I could definitely do with them is draw with them so I thought that would be really neat and indeed I like it Oops, I messed that up. That's okay. I'm going to just wipe it off. I just think they're so pretty. Um, you could also let it dry and then watercolor into it. You could definitely, like, practice a little bit and then um, stamp something down like I just did and then add some you know draw over it trace around it but you do need to practice a little bit because it's a little unwieldy using this little bottle so i'll practice oh it's so pretty though i really like this a lot and this is the color oyster and i got silver and platinum so they all look kind of the same I don't know if I would do this again, but because the oyster and the platinum are really pretty much the same, but the silver's a little cooler. Anyway, they're fun, something new to play with. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I was playing um, with these Distress Oxides, and they do have, they keep saying they don't have a chalky finish, but to me, they have a chalky finish. It doesn't come off. And I love that chalky look, so I'm perfectly fine with it. And as you probably all know, it is water reactive um, and creates this look. All right, another thing I got at that stamp show was um, the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, which is metallic. And then I actually made a mistake oops and I was putting them all in my cart so then I could decide what I wanted and I, I just skipped groove and ordered them all while we're in my cart so as a result I have more than I needed but so I really have to play with these and make sure <laughs> get get a lot of bang how much bang for my buck I can get so this let me see got gorgeous it's like a paint 
but it's got this metallic sheen to it and the colors are just fantastic. So let me just look inside. First of all, I did put um, a little piece of saran wrap over it so it wouldn't dry out. I'm not sure that it would dry out, but I just didn't want to. And it's it's kind of like cool. I don't know what it, it's almost like it feels like a putty and then if you pick it up it's a little bit different. I don't know. It's well you can see the texture and the consistency. It's a thick consistency and it's really neat stuff. So here it is on black. I'm not going to do a full big demo and I just wanted to give you an idea. For those of you, it has a little bit of a funny smell. Um, for those of you who are sensitive to smells, but um, I can't smell it from here. I'm just going to keep the plastic in the top when I'm done using it because there's a good bit in there and I I don't want it to dry out. It reminds me of those Diane Ravel repaints which I actually tried and loved them um, to my great surprise. Not really. I mean the Ranger makes really fabulous products but you know I'm kind of a paint snob. Anyway here let's try this pink and let's try it with I got these brushes from new they're nouveau and they're a lot less expensive. They come I think two to a pack. I'll link them below. And you can see how nicely it goes on with the brush. You can also take some of this. That looks really nice. You know, I might get more use out of this than I thought. Because it's a great uniter. So there we go. It's adding a lot of shimmer and shine to that. It's, the colors are very beautiful. <clears throat> so I'm actually still not too happy that I made that mistake. But whoopsie. Stuff happens. I've just been using a couple of these to sort of stencil on it. Which, well now that's a good idea. So I'm just going to really quickly, just because I'm, yeah, you could definitely stencil with this. And the thing of it is, is it dries to such a nice, um, oh wow, that looks really cool. It's just building up these really nice layers and it's catching like the, the brush and the stuff is catching on the end so it oh man I like this stuff okay not so mad at myself anymore okay all right I might do a whole video just playing with this stuff very cool very cool I just wanted to mention really quickly that I am putting together I'm almost finished putting together an online watercolor mixed media class and this is one of the samples. This, These two pieces I'll probably be putting up, I'm thinking of using Art in America for sales and I'll probably be doing prints. I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So that's the whole video for today and I hope you'll give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and pop around to my blog. I did make some some new discoveries on the distressed oxide inks and the embellishment mousse. I think you need to, the embellishment mousse dries pretty quickly, uh, which is kind of nice. And I'm, I, as far as I can tell at this point, you need to use a, a stays on ink to uh, stamp on top of it. But I'll get back to you on that. I know you can make sprays and paints out of it as well. So that's a pretty cool uh, product. So I'll leave you now and see you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by.